Hi, my name is Sarah Ross from Elevation Solutions, and we're here today to talk a little bit about career and technology education. Um, based on our experience implementing CTE um, across many K-12 districts throughout the United States, um, career and technology education has become very important recently. Many districts spinning up new programs, um, building on existing programs, and enhancing the programs that they have available to their students in order to provide equitable opportunities for all students um, involved in their schools. So we're gonna talk a little bit today about how we implement um, CTE within Salesforce um, and talk a little bit about the different processes within um, CTE, work-based learning, um, partner recruiting, and then reporting. So first I'm gonna throw over to Jeannie to talk about um, some of the biggest challenges that we've been seeing in regards to CTE management uh, of partners in the K-12 space. Yeah, our clients prior to implementing Salesforce often have their information siloed across different coworkers, schools, and school districts. They are spending a lot of time in spreadsheets, often multiple spreadsheets, and it just takes them a long time to dig for the information they need. They're also trying to keep their information in their head and they have a difficult time collaborating. There's definitely a sense of frustration prior to implementing Salesforce. Um, after implementing Salesforce, it really is a game changer for our clients. At a glance, they can see where their um, partner is in the recruiting process and they can easily collaborate with each other using account teams and activity tracking, which allows them to see when somebody ha last had a meeting with a partner or had a call with a partner and even see those notes about that. Their data sharing becomes centralized and simplified, and this is all with native Salesforce functionality. This really frees up a lot of time for our clients to focus on what's important building those partner relationships and being able to offer um, impactful work-based learning opportunities to their students. Yeah, absolutely. That's a common theme we see throughout our clients, siloed data, people have all their contacts in their heads, um, and really you're relying on um, one person to kind of manage all of those partner relationships. And, and our clients don't have access to data about their partners. Is this partner working out? Um, are the programs that they're involved with, how, how are those going? Um, you know, really being able to get stats and measurements on partners um, is, is so important. And really to be able to see kind of a whole picture of a partner and how they're interacting with your um, institution. So Caitlin, um, can you talk a little bit about how we've been able to help schools provide that 360 degree view of partners by using Salesforce? Yeah, absolutely. So we've worked with K-12 schools to really help them use Salesforce to become their centralized partner database um, that they can share, store um, all of their entire district's interactions and information about their CTU partners. Um, and it starts really with using Salesforce accounts to define out your partners, including contact information, their industry, segmentation information to help a school district easily identify partners that um, align to the CT programs and pathways that they're looking to offer. Um, in addition to the basic partner details, um, you can also use Salesforce to track how your school district is interacting with your partners. So for example, you can track their participation in uh, CTE programs, such as courses, courses that they're offering at your school district or speaker events, career fairs, internships, job shadowing, um, certificate programs, or even opportunities to offer new programs. Um, and beyond just the CTE program involvement, you can also use Salesforce to track one-on-one -on -one meetings, phone calls, um, the marketing content that they're receiving and viewing, as well as donations that they're making to your school district as well. Um, and then once you have that holistic 360 degree view of your partner data um, centralized in Salesforce, you can really start measuring the success of your partnerships and also identifying where you can start to improve. 
Yeah, absolutely. I know one of the things our clients always come back to us and say is just how um, incredible it is for them to be able to have that information right at their fingertips and be able to pull it out whenever they need it versus having to go across many different spreadsheets to try to cobble together the information that they need to report out um, to talk about the success of their programs. Um, so speaking of spreadsheets and kind of cobbling things together, I think a lot of CTE programs are emerging, right? Um, and they may not necessarily have a huge budget set aside um, to run these programs. Um, so how can you achieve this success with Salesforce on a budget? Can you talk a little bit about that, Jillian? I mean, I think that the EDA model, um, the education data architecture model, along with the K through 12 quick kit is a, a quick and inexpensive way to supplement Salesforce's existing data structure. So in addition to all the things that Caitlin just talked about, after just some quick installs and configuring some settings, you'll have an org that's ready to manage um, specifically your student contact information, information about grades and enrollment, as well as their programs and participation in those programs without having to spend a lot of time or money on customizations, at least not right off the bat. Uh, in terms of partner management, the lead and opportunity and contract objects, which are all native to Salesforce, are the perfect place to manage prospecting new partners and onboarding them to participate in your programs. So using these native objects requires very minimal customization to just get started. You can track um, you know, onboarding requirements, contracts, background checks, all things like that. And specifically for new partners, you can also take advantage of Salesforce communities to give your partners a portal to communicate and process all of their onboarding tasks. So you could share materials with them. Partners could maybe submit program attendance right through the portal. And you could even make use of Salesforce surveys to gather information from your external partners. So it's like giving them a window into Salesforce without actually having to provide them with a full user license, which can be expensive. So these are all really great things for schools on a budget to take advantage of if they're just looking for a quick start with CTE and Salesforce. Yeah, absolutely. And we really like to employ that crawl, walk, run methodology um, where we get you up and running and started um, with kind of baseline and then are able to build on top of that. And that's one of the great benefits of the Salesforce platform is that it's incredibly flexible um, and you can do little bits at a time um, as it fits in with your budget. Um, so yeah, thank you so much everyone for um, hopping on today and talking a little bit about career and technology um, education. This is an expanding, um, growing area of K-12 education, and um, our team definitely has a passion for working with these schools, and really, um, hopefully, our information that we've shared has been informative and um, helps you as you continue to make decisions about how you run your CTE programs and the technology to support them.